Oh, high level wizard here. And now I'm going to be walking you through step by step how to set up missed call text back on go high level and how to absolutely turbocharge this tool using AI. And as a bonus, I'm going to be walking you through some serious FAQs that get questions about missed call text back that I'm just going to answer once and for all. So you don't have to ask these questions ever again. Before we jump in though, go right down below, smash that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, drop a comment down. Below. First thing I want to do is just explain what missed call text back is in the most simple form as possible. Get a lead, okay? And they call a business. Ring, ring, they call, but the business doesn't answer. Immediately via automation and AI, the business will text automatically that lead, that person, that phone number, okay, a message. So, hey, it could be, hey, sorry, missed your call. It could be, hey, please call us back. It could be whatever. But this way, you don't miss out on any leads. So, again, very automated. Person calls. They miss the call if someone's not available and then immediately sends them a text message, hence the name missed call text back. And this is very powerful for a number of reasons. So number one, 75% of the sales go to those who answer first. We all know this. We've all felt this. You call someone, they don't answer. It's annoying. We call their competitor. If you answer, you'll get the sale. I see so many businesses when I consult people miss out on this one thing. It's money on the table that they're missing out on. Okay, number two, save business owners a ton of time. Business owners will pay you month in, month out if you save them time or make them money. Those are the two big steps. And again, this is one of those things that saves them a lot of time. Last but not least, you can sell this from anywhere from $50 a month all the way to $150 a month. And yes, you could do more, you could do less. It's pretty nice because you're just sitting back collecting checks month after month for really doing nothing. Real quick, before we jump in, if you're interested in more about High Level, I have a 30-day free trial link down below. You can go check it out. You'll get access to me, my Snapchat, my private community if you sign up using my link. So go check that out. Uh, but now let's really jump in and learn how to set this up. So there are two different ways you can set up missed call text back. The first one is very simple. The second one, more complicated. So let's go into the first way. You're going to come right down to settings. You're going to scroll all the way down to this right here. It's going to say miss call text back. And all you have to do to get this first version is just click enable. You just click this checkbox on or not, pick the exact message you want to send. This will be the message it texts to you and click saved missed call text settings. And again, you can test right here. This is the easy way to do it. You just check the box and you can put whatever you want. Hey, what's up? You know, whatever you want. You can just add that and it's as simple as that. And then from there, if you connect the AI chatbot, it will just configure and roll out just like that. So this is very simple. This is very straightforward. Again, if you have this enabled and the other one enabled, what may happen is they may send two different missed call text backs. So make sure you only have one. So this is how you do the first one. It is so simple and so easy. Now it's time to move on to the second one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to come right to automations. Okay. We're going to do create workflow and we're going to select a recipe. Now, again, you can start from scratch if you want, but they have a pre-built out recipe. Saves you a ton of time. High level always coming in clutch. Okay. So we're going to go all the way down to this right here. Recipe, auto miss call text back. We're going to click select. Boom. Look at that. Done. Dusted. We're ready to roll out. So first things first, name what you want this to be. So we're just going to be ZZ. Hair salon auto miss call text back. So you just make sure you name it. Then we're going to go through these really quickly. So again, it's pretty much already perfectly configured. We just want to make sure of a couple of things. So in the trigger, this all looks good. You're Gucci. You don't got to do anything else. But if you have multiple phone numbers, you're going to want to pick the phone number in here. So we do in phone number and we're going to select the exact phone number we discussed. Because the last thing you want to have to happen is you have multiple phone numbers and none are picked. So that's the first thing. Right here, this is just the wait time. This is perfectly fine. You can just save this action. Assign to user. You can do this if you have someone that's going to be taking over. But again, if you're using an AI chatbot, no need. And if you're like, okay, I'm just using an AI chatbot, all you got to do is come right here and click delete, delete action, and it's gone. Okay. So from there, we move on to the next one, which is adding a contact tag. You can have missed call text back. You could have person to miss call, whatever you want. You would just add the tag right there. This is going into pipelines. It's best to put a tag there. You don't have to, but it's best. Then right here is going to be the text back after the missed call. So we're going to come right here and you're going to pick exactly what you want it to say. Again, you can pick whatever you want, but we're just going to configure it just like this. This is fine. This is cool. And we're going to save action. And then again, down here, if you are not using a user and this is only going to an AI chatbot, we would click this, delete, and delete all actions from here. Real quick, if you are going to be using this, make sure you go in, okay? You assign what user you want it to go to, and then you pick 
the text of which user you want to go to. You just pick this right here and pick your users. Very simple, very straightforward. That's just up to you to pick. But we're not going to be doing that because we're using an AI chatbot. So we're going to delete all actions from here. And again, whatever you do, that's what you're going to pick. We have it done. We're going to come right in here to publish and click save. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make this thing AI powered before we demo. So we're going to go back to workflows, down to settings, come right here to conversational AI, come right in here, click edit. By the way, if you do not have an AI chatbot or you're not trying to use this, you can either skip this or at the end of this video, I'm going to link my AI chatbot video so you can set this entire thing up perfectly and you'll be good to go. Again, this video is not about AI chatbots. It's about just connecting it, but I have the full tutorial to guide you right through this process and that will be linked at the end of this video. So we come right in here. It looks all good. Again, we're going to want it on autopilot. We're going to want to make sure we have SMS selected. Okay, and again, if you do not have this at the end of the video, I will show an entire uh, sequence spell out to help you. So we're gonna make sure that that is selected, everything looks good, and then we're good to go. Now that we have missed call text back set up, let's demo it live. So we're gonna come back, we're gonna go up to conversations. So remember, this is the workflow we just set up, the automation. We're gonna run through this and we're gonna see what happens. I also made the AI chat about live. So I'm gonna walk you through this entire thing and show you on my phone because that's what Go High Level Wizard does. So first things first, we need to call the phone number. So we're gonna come right over here, we're gonna scroll all the way down and we're gonna call the hair salon phone number. So 571-576-6382. Calling it right now. Okay, Mr. Call. Look at that. It just messaged me. The missed call text back is live. You can come right into the conversation tab. As you see, I called it. And if you look right down here, the bot is active. It's ready to go. That's a newer feature. If you have not seen, you have to make sure it's configured right there. You just click conversational bot is active. But now let's go back and forth. And I'm going to show you how cool this is. So we're going to come right back here. And now I'm going to start messaging it. Okay. So I need a hair cut today i'm gonna put a question mark there perfect look at that we have an available slot today at 5 15 p.m does that work for you okay let's do yes please let's do it okay hands free hands free hands free let it go boom look at that that's awesome because i actually configured that thursdays were full so that's perfect because it's checking the calendar so i can just go back and forth with this you know, I can ask it more questions. I can have a book appointments. I'm just showing you the power of this because it will do all of that for you. So powerful because that's a text back automation that you don't have to set up and then an AI chatbot that you don't have to work. That will save business owners hours worth of time. You have to realize how valuable that is. Sell this plus missed call text back three, four, 500 bucks a month if you can get it working because it's just so, so valuable. Again, you can come right back in here and look at the conversation unfolding live, which is so awesome because it's just going to go back and forth and back and forth and just message you. And again, hands off. You see right here, this message was generated by conversational AI, not me. And it's it's responding very fast. 1204, 1204, it's ba, ba, ba. And again, you can you know make it go a little slower, a little, a little faster, but how cool is that? Because that's just a huge time save right there. And again, make this so powerful with AI. Before we jump into the FAQs, I just want to show you one last thing. And that is we could remove this entire thing altogether with AI voice agents. So the first big thing is not everyone's going to be using these. So it's different. And I will link a video at the end of this. So you can watch, you can check it out. I know I've said I'm going to link a lot of videos, but this is huge because what this could do is this could completely get rid of having to miss a call in the first place because an AI robot will answer said call for you. How cool is that? Imagine having AI, hey, how you doing today? Blah, 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 going on and back and forth and back and you're just chilling. Using the AI voice agents, you wouldn't even have to have a missed call. How cool is that? You could skip out on the missed call because AI would answer every single phone call. So that's just turbocharging this entire process. But drop a comment down below if you have any questions about that because that is kind of a more powerful process. But as a way, AI has the potential to just turbocharge everything through the chatbot and the agent. But now let's jump into the FAQs so I can answer the questions about missed call test back once and for all so you don't have to keep bothering me about it. So I created this last segment because I swear I was getting so many DMs and so many comments of these questions. People would ask me the same thing again and again and again. So please, if you're confused at all, 
Watch this part because I'm going to answer these once and for all. So first things first, can a business owner use their existing phone number for missed call text back? The answer is not exactly, but yes. Okay, so there's two options if they already have a number and you don't want to buy a number from Twilio. Okay, you have one, which is called number porting, which is transfer the number to Twilio for the use of high level. And you can drop a comment down below and I can give you instructions how to do that. You just hook up the business number they have into Twilio. So that's one option. The next is call forwarding. You can just forward calls and text to the go high level number. Very simply, very straightforward. That is one way of doing this process. So again, you can't just take their existing business phone number and just plug it into high level. Doesn't work that way, okay? Repeat myself, it doesn't work that way. If you're not gonna use a Twilio number for them, which is LC phone, you're gonna need to do either number porting, which is transferring, or call forwarding, which is transferring the texts and calls. So those are your two options for that. Again, if you're confused, drop a comment down below, but that should hopefully answer that question. Number two, does this number need to be A2P verified? In order to send text messages, 100% yes. The number has to be A2P verified. Again, you can't send text messages unless it's A2P verified. So this has to be A2P verified, okay? Number three, can I do missed call text back without a phone number at all? The answer is no, you have to buy a number in high level or do these up here. And again, what you're doing with that is you're basically going right in, okay? And you're just selecting the phone number. I have a full video on this. You just select and click buy. It's so easy. Again, please go watch my channel. Look up on my channel how to buy a phone number in high level. It's literally a dollar. It's so cheap and you can get it and you get active. Um, again, to send texts. Yeah, you're gonna have to get A2P verified, but that's simple. Last but not least, do I need a separate phone number for each client if I'm setting this up? The answer is yes. You have to have a separate one for each number. You can't just have one number and every single sub account uses it. They can't just have like this kumbaya, let's share the number. Doesn't work. That's how you get banned. Please, if you're confused, rewatch this segment so you can understand this process, okay? So these are the FAQs. Please, please, please Watch this so you don't have to keep asking me or anyone else. You'll just have the knowledge and then you can do it. And again, if you're trying to figure out how to do number porting or call forwarding, just drop a comment down below and I will give you perfect instructions for that. So guys, thank you. I hope this cleared up some mist. Ready to learn high level. I have a 30 day free trial link down below. Not a 14 day, an exclusive 30 day free trial link. If you sign up using my link, you'll get one-on-one -on -one training and help from me. Access to an exclusive private community. You'll get access to my Go High Level and AI trainings. Access to live strategy sessions every single week. Access to my proprietary client getting program so you can just get a ton of SaaS clients or AI agency clients, whatever you're looking for. And if I see you do well once you join, I will give you access to an exclusive client partnership where I will send you hot leads and real clients to give to you for free. It doesn't get any better than this. There is no other program online like this. So please, if you're interested in high level, go check it out. Again, it's free. So go down below, sign up using my link, and I'll see you there. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps. Remember, any comments at all, drop them down below. You know I answer fast. And as always, go high level wizard out.